Apple TV settings for trial. If you're going to use an Apple TV to wirelessly present evidence at mediation or trial, you'll want to make sure you have the right options selected in the Apple TV settings to get the best experience. The instructions and settings we reference in this video apply to the Apple TV HD and Apple TV 4K, available since 2015 and 2017, respectively. You may want to restore your Apple TV to its factory settings and set it up for use at mediation or trial. This can be done by going to Settings. Click on System. And under the Maintenance section, click on Reset. Then click on Reset. Then click on Reset again to confirm. During the setup process, you will be asked to join a Wi-Fi network. You will also be asked to enter an Apple ID and if you have a TV provider. If this Apple TV is going to be used exclusively for mediation or trial, we recommend choosing Skip This Step and Not Now, respectively, for those options. Once your Apple TV has restarted, you can change the various options as follows. Open the Settings app. Click on System. And under the Maintenance section, click on Software Updates. Click on Update Software to make sure you have the most up-to-date version of tvOS. And you should also change the Automatically Update option to On to make sure you always have the latest version of tvOS. Now we'll go through each of the relevant options to make sure you have the best experience while using TrialPad to wirelessly present evidence. Select Settings and select General. Select Screen Saver. Click on Start After and choose Never. Go back to General. Select Sleep After and choose Never. Go back to General. Make sure Restrictions are set to Off. Navigate back to the main settings and select AirPlay and HomeKit. Make sure AirPlay is set to On. Select Allow Access and make sure everyone has a check mark. Also, under Allow Access, click on Require Password to turn the requirement on. Then, click on Password to enter a password. Doing this will ensure that only you can access your Apple TV. Now that your Apple TV is set up, it can be used with TrialPad to wirelessly present evidence. The iPad communicates with the Apple TV using peer-to-peer -peer AirPlay via Bluetooth, which eliminates the need for the iPad or the Apple TV to be connected to a Wi-Fi network or the internet. This means that you can take your iPad and Apple TV to a mediation location or courtroom and just connect the Apple TV to a television using the HDMI cable without the need to connect a Wi-Fi network or have internet access at the destination location. Once you connect the Apple TV to a television using the HDMI cable, swipe down from the upper right-hand corner of your iPad screen to reveal the control center. Tap on the screen mirroring button and then select your Apple TV. If prompted, enter the password you chose when setting up your Apple TV. Tap away from the control center to dismiss the popover. And tap your iPad screen again to reveal your iPad desktop. The television will now mirror your iPad desktop. And when you launch TrialPad, the television will intentionally go blank. This is a safety measure to prevent you from accidentally showing any case files or evidence. Once you're ready to present, open a case file. Select a document or photo. Slide the output switch to on and press present. Multimedia files can also be presented the same way. You would just press the play button in the middle of the preview window to start playback.
The audio for any multimedia files is sent to the television through the HDMI cable connected to the Apple TV.